Hey, I want to talk to you about the fact that all have problems, even the solution providers. And we are starting right now. Happy day, everyone. I'm glad to be here with you today on this YouTube video. Why am I glad? Because it's good to be glad. Because this is a good day. It is a happy day for all to rejoice and be glad. Hey, thank God it is today. Every woman has problems, even the solution providers. Even the people we take our own problems to solve for us have their own problems. It's good we talk and share our problems so that we can at least take the heat off ourselves for some time, for a while. A problem shared, they said, is a problem half solved. How true can that be? Well, it's a bit true because at least it takes the burden of the problem off you and the listener bears part of it for you. But will the listener take the problem away? I'm not sure of that. But at the most, it will ease off pressure. Problems are everywhere, just as solutions are everywhere. The people you take your problems to also have problems, but perhaps not the type that you have. Not exactly the type you have or far from the type of yours, but all sure have problems in life. The poor have problems of money and look up to the rich. The rich secretly envy the poor for something he has that money cannot buy. The single envy the married and dream of their kind of happy home while some married wish they were alone and single. Children think of when they will start working after school. The people who are already working wish they could go back to work to school. The tired wish they could work again while those who are yet working are thinking of when they will retire problem exists at every phase. Primary school puppies dream of secondary school. They look forward to it as if that is all that will solve their primary school problems. The ones in secondary schools wish and long for the post-secondary school. Why is this longing always with us? That seems to be the greatest way of making all realize that they belong to him and they need him. Some powerful motivational speakers have been known to weep in secret because others see them as strong and powerful. Others bring problems to them, but they themselves have their own bits and share of problems that life offers. This applies to all categories of people. No matter how well endowed, poor, educated, illiterate, jovial, sociable, and wealthy, all still have problems. The law of conservation of energy explains it all that matter can neither be created nor destroyed, but can be transformed from one form to another. In a bid to solve one problem, be sure that you will create another problem. Problems do, don't do go away. It is we that will develop the stamina that even in the presence of problems, we will shout for joy and laugh. In the presence of problems, we will advance in our variously good pursuits. This is a time to do it. The major purpose of the problem is to distract you. Its major aim is to derail you, is to carry you off the track that you are trailing or intend to trail. Problem wants to make you, to make sure you don't blaze the trail. Be resilient, be optimistic in the face of the problem. Keep doing the right, keep doing the good. In a short while, the problems will bow to you and shout KBSE, Fanny Jane Crossbar and Helen Keller to mention a few ought to be unknown, ought to be unnoticed, ought to be 
unmentioned because of the problem they had from childhood, from birth. They defied their problems and became women of repute. Others with similar problems like theirs cringed and are nowhere to be found in history today. They became exemplary. They became mighty in the things they did. They did what people who seemingly do not have the type of problems were not able to do. I am challenged by these people. I am challenged by their doggedness. We all have our share of problems, but theirs was quite visible, despite its visibility, which calls for pity. They did great in their time. Society thought they should be pitied. Family thought they should be pitied. But God put something in them that made them the envy of the world. That can do and that can do an achievement spirit is right there inside of you too. Rise and utilize it. This is the day. This is the hour. Keep doing the right. The Creator sees and will support you. So, what do we do with problems? Should we throw problem away? Should we put problem in the background of history? What exactly should we do with problems? Don't cry at it. Don't cringe at it. Don't bow to it. Don't weep over problems. Laugh at it instant. Be joyful at problem instead. Why? Because it is good to laugh. It is good to laugh and laugh. Laughter is good medicine. Laugh and smile and even jump for joy. Problems want you to cry. But please, don't cry. Instead, laugh at the problem. I want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And subscription is free. And I also want you to click the notification button now. I am going to talk to you some other time. Bye for now. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.